Welcome back everyone. Happy New Year to you and yours. Let's not waste any time, but instead help you timeline the rest of your year out with Google Sheets new timeline view. I'm Jordan R, one of your trusty senior analysts here in the trading support team to share your weekly upgrade. With Google Calendar filling up with so many meetings and holidays and birthdays, my boss's schedule, my boss's boss's schedules. You just put on your best cloud nine smile? And keeping up with my binge worthy shows on all my streaming networks. It would be great to have something to timeline projects, tasks, key schedules, and future planning. Google has come through again with Google Sheets Timeline View. As you add your data into your sheet, a timeline can be created in a new tab to display and keep track of. But don't let me bore you with thinking I know how to use it. Boring. Here's our Google Sheets Pro, Marco, who will give you the how-to for you. Take it away, sir. Thank you, Jordan. Timeline View is an interactive visual layer that can help manage and visualize information stored in Google Sheets. Timeline View can be used to track project tasks, create schedules and plans. In this example, I will create a timeline for my teaching schedule displaying the activities I have planned. It is important to remember that in order to create a timeline, we must have at least one column formatted as date. You can see in the spreadsheet a list of activities with the beginning and end date and a short description. I also use the new features to create a personalized drop-down menu to indicate the subject areas. To create a timeline, I'm going to click on Insert and then Timeline, and then I'll select the range I want to use. This will create a new tab in the spreadsheet. On the right side of the screen, I now have some option to modify the timeline. Google Sheet will try to predict what field to use in the timeline based on the headers of the columns, but I can manipulate those values here. I'm going to change my start dates and end date, and I will use the activity name as the card title. Because I have assigned colors on the spreadsheet, I do not have to change it here. I can choose if I want to see more details in the card, and I can group the activities based on the subject areas. This is one possible way of using Timeline in Google Sheet, and I'm sure you will be able to find many interesting ways of using this awesome feature to simplify your workflow. Back to you, Jordan. Thank you so much, Marco. Always a pleasure. We also have a doc on this new timeline view found below in the description of this video. Well, that's it for your weekly upgrade. Please do not forget to like and share all this wonderful content with everyone you meet. And best of all, please make sure to have a beautiful day.